Hi, my name is Mike and I'm with Crest Capital. Thank you for choosing a finance partnership with us. This short video will walk you through the simple process of signing your finance documents. It's going to be quick because unlike a mortgage, you won't have to sign stacks and stacks of papers. Let's get started. Obviously, the first step is to print out the documents emailed to you. The first PDF is the document package. Page 1 is a cover letter with written instructions for the doc signing process. Next is the main document, the lease or finance agreement. This is a two-pager and in most cases there are two places to sign and one to initial. Throughout the documents, arrows appear at the sides of lines indicating places for your signatures. When in doubt, sign by the arrow. Be consistent with your dates. If your collateral has not delivered, sign the acceptance line, but leave the acceptance date field blank. We'll fill it in for you after delivery. This way we don't waste money on a FedEx for one page. The exhibits that follow describe the vendor name, collateral description, repayment terms, and any other paragraphs that further clarify the particulars of your deal. If your vendor requires payment in advance of shipping, the document will include a paragraph entitled Commencement, which is your authorization for us to release the proceeds to your vendor before they ship. For leases, any residual will be displayed on this same exhibit. The rest of the documents are just placeholders to attach a copy of your driver's license or a copy of your check which authorizes the automatic monthly payment. The biggest thing to watch for is to make sure you sign the documents the exact way you signed your driver's license. Since we generally don't meet face to face, our auditors require driver's licenses from each signer or guarantor. These auditors are very picky, so the easiest way of assuring a smooth booking process is to start off with signatures that match your driver's license. Please make sure we've correctly written out your legal name exactly as it appears on your driver's license and middle initials don't count. Here's an example. If your name appears on your driver's license as John Adam Smith, you should sign your name John Smith or John A. Smith. If you're called by your middle name, Adam, as in the example, or by a nickname, but your legal name appears on your driver's license, sign your legal name. Surnames are important as well. Let us know if we're missing a junior or senior or the third. It'll save time later, I promise. The last page is a fax cover sheet, so you can easily send the signed docs back in just a minute. It includes a space to take your advance payment check and also includes any credit contingencies which remain open at the time the documents were prepared and sent to you. Common examples of bank statements or proof of principal ownership, sometimes evidence of your payment to a vendor for a deposit or a down payment. And upon our receipt of your fax signed documents, we'll immediately review them call you to walk through any revisions or just to advise that they're signed correctly and that you can send the originals overnight. Here's where you use that pre-printed air bill. It should be noted that we act as your checkbook. We won't and can't fund the vendor any proceeds until you authorize the booking and funding process. We conduct this step verbally after we receive the original signed doc so you have yet another opportunity to ask any questions or just to go over the process from this point out. Also, you'll be asked to select your payment due date in this step you can choose the date that's most convenient to your cash flow. The second PDF attached is a prepaid FedEx label. Put it on any envelope and return the docs to us. Easy enough? Press print and grab a pen. It'll take less than five minutes. Just remember, at Crest Capital, we're only a phone call away. Call if you have any questions.